This is a quick video demonstrating the functionality of my new Max for Live device, LP to push, or Launchpad to push. Like many people, I was very excited to hear about Ableton's new hardware instrument, Push, but since that instrument's not yet available, and I already own an Ovation Launchpad, which, on the surface, has a similar layout, I decided to delve into Max for Live to recreate for the Launchpad one of Push's many interesting features, the folded keyboard. LP to Push is a Max for Live MIDI device that turns the Launchpad 64 button grid into a keyboard instrument. To get started, with your Launchpad connected to your computer, create a new MIDI track in Live. And onto that MIDI track, drag the LP to Push Max for Live MIDI device. Once that has loaded, switch over to the track that contains your instrument, set MIDI from the new device track and arm the track. Now let's take a look at the launch pad. LP to push operates within the user 2 mode of the launch pad, which means that while the device is operating, the launch pad's session, user 1, and mixer modes function as they normally do. The folded keyboard is accessed by entering user 2 mode. When the device is loaded, the keyboard is set in chromatic mode. This means that starting from the lower left, the notes ascend to the right chromatically, and up in perfect fourths. The bright squares are the tonic notes of the currently selected key, and the dimmer squares are the other notes in that key. The unlit squares are the chromatic tones that do not belong to the key. So if we play only lit squares, we can play exclusively in the selected key. And if we uh, add in some of the other notes, then we'll obviously get chromatic tones. Or however we want to play. The user 2 mode button, once we're in user 2 mode, can be used to switch between the two keyboard layouts, chromatic, which is what we've already seen, and diatonic mode, which I'll switch to now. In diatonic mode, the out-of-key notes are removed, so the keyboard now ascends to the right in steps of the selected key, and up in fourths that are now diatonic fourths. A scale can easily be played by starting on the tonic note, going over three steps, up one, and keeping on with this repetitive pattern. Of course, like the push that we're imitating, we're not limited to only one scale with this device. With this upper left button, the up button selected, these right side buttons can be used to select the tonic note. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. To get sharp and flat keys, you simply press a button multiple times. So this fifth button is G. If I press it once, we're in G. If I press it a second time, it turns green, and now we're in G sharp. And if I press it a third time, we're in G flat. If I press it again, it returns to G natural. In addition to controlling our tonic, we have control over what mode we are playing in. If we press the down button on the upper left here, it toggles this right side so that it now controls the selected mode. Now the buttons correspond to Ionian, or Major, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, or Natural Minor, and Locrian. This top button is unique. Rather than selecting a mode, it allows us to raise the leading tone of any of the other modes. So, uh, for example, if we select the sixth mode, which is Aeolian or Natural Minor, and then select the top button, we're now playing in a harmonic minor scale, which sounds like this. If we deselect it, we get the Natural Minor. So it's easy to select a key in mode by simply hitting the upper left button, say uh, we'll choose E flat, and then the second button, and we want to be playing Lydian, so now we're in E flat Lydian. Pretty simple. Also worth noting is that if we change modes in the chromatic layout, the in-key lights shift accordingly, so we're 
changing modes, if I press different buttons, the lights shift. Uh, if say so, here's natural minor. If I select the one to raise the leading tone, that will shift and and shift back. Finally, this entire keyboard can be transposed up and down a maximum of three octaves by using the left and right buttons. So right now I'm going to switch back just for the purpose of this demonstration to C major um, and will be a diatonic mode. Now we're up an octave, two, three, and then of course we can go down as well. Unlike Ableton's new push, the launchpad doesn't have velocity or pressure sensitivity, but it can still be an expressive instrument. I'll play a brief example using the LP to push and a foot controller, MIDI mapped to the cutoff frequency of my instrument in Ableton Live. <laughs> 